What's up, Nail Geeks? I am back with Baroness X's Black Friday releases. We have two collections coming and lots and lots of sale info for her uh, Demiflex brand, Foxfire brand, so lots of bath and body, a little bit of trinkets and goodies there, uh, jewelry and her polishes. This is a fantastic sale with tons and tons of pretty polishes. So let's dive right in. So first off, I'm going to start with her holiday collection. This is the Griswold Family Xmas collection and consists of three polishes with a free gift for purchase. First, I'm showing you guys she wrapped up her damn cat. This is an orchid leaning light pink with blue and violet shimmer, hollow and blue micro flakes. This is free with purchase of the trio, so this is limited to the first 25 full sets sold. This has a lovely Crelly-like formula to it. It is strongly self-leveling. It's got a bit of a squish factor to it, and it stays put where you put it. So really lovely, flattering type of orchid, pinky sort of shade. This is really shimmery too, so you'll get a bit of this aqua shimmer in the background and those adorable blue flecks throughout. So for full opacity, I'm gonna suggest two coats on it. It builds up very quickly. And as you can see on the second coat here, it self levels very well. Now this dries down semi flat. So I'm gonna suggest a glossy top coat to finish this one off and a really lovely plumping action with this one. And I think this is one of those orchids that's gonna be pretty flattering on uh, any skin tone. And next we have Xmas 1955. This is a glitter blend of vintage Xmas in uh, glitters of red, pink, green, blue, and snow glitters with silver micro flakes. Um, this is intended as a topper and you can uh, definitely build it up to full coverage, but given what the glitters looked like, I thought it was gonna be super adorable over a white base. Um, I think the glitters are very opaque enough that they will definitely show up over any type of base color. Now, uh, I got quite a bit of glitters out of the bottle onto the brush, and I think just going in either with the icing method or normally like what I'm doing here, and just do a little bit of careful placement and you'll have uh, quite a bit of those glitters on your nails. So uh, I think the final look represents um, a really awesome uh, vintage looking wrapping paper. And next we have Tis the Season to be Merry. This is a red jelly with red metallic micro flakies and metallic gold shimmer added for warmth. So uh, this one is a really lovely formula. It does feel very jelly-like, very juicy when you build it up. And uh, for full opacity, I'm gonna suggest two coats on it. You'll see here in just a moment on the second coat that it uh, really popped for opacity and uh, lots of shimmer action. This is what I consider a true uh, Christmas type of red shade, very flattering. I think it's gonna pop on any skin tone and uh, very vibrant once you build it up. So for a jelly polish, this has a uh, quite dense formula to it. It really stays where you put it and um, just applies so smooth and self-leveling. Now in this post, I am using Baroness X's Liquid Crystal uh, Top Coat, uh, which is a glossy, quick dry, thin type of top coat, and I'll get to more on that in a moment. So next we have, if you're not man enough to end this, then I am. This is a medium to dark gray base packed with bronze micro flakes. So this has a crelly like formula. This has a very squishy like feel on the brush strokes and builds up very quickly to opacity. If you polish very thin, you might need a third coat, but I would suggest uh, treating this one like uh, what we've been seeing throughout this week. Uh, use the first coat as a bit of a foundation and then go in normally on your second coat and it plumps up very nicely. It does dry down flat, so I'm gonna suggest a good glossy top coat to finish this one off. The base color builds up to this really lovely smoky type of um, warm, almost sort of gray and this is loaded up with those bronze micro flakes that take on this really nice reflective type of uh, shimmery sparkle effect. And again, full hand shot, you are seeing the liquid crystal top coat. Now, next I'm gonna show you guys the five elements collection. These are very limited edition in that they are full of um, unicorn pea and or sibling pigments. So these are discontinued pigments. So these are limited to what is in stock. So first up we have Pyre. This is a topper with a double dose of the original pigment unicorn pea, which is a copper red to yellow to green shift with magnetic silver pigment and a sprinkle of hollow micro flakes. 
So this is uh, lovely. It's very dense as a topper. Here I'm going in with my big giant uh, beast of a magnet and I am just real quick um, putting it over the nail for roughly 20 seconds. And then I'm gonna go in with uh, Baroness X's liquid crystal top coat and magnetize that to seal in the magnetic line. Now, I don't know if this is a hack or not. I actually like accidentally found this in that when I blow on Baroness X's top coat, to uh, help it dry faster. I noticed that it wrinkles a little bit, but then when I stop blowing on it, it immediately sets back. And I feel like that has pretty much acted as this like super um, hardcore type of sealant for magnetic pigments. I've gone through two bottles of her liquid glass top coat and um, they've consistently acted like this. So again, I don't know if that's a hack, but um, I think it has worked beautifully on magnetic polishes. And next we have Geo. This is a topper with a double dose of yellow to green to blue unicorn pea sister pigment with magnetic silver pigment and a sprinkle of hollow micro flakes. This one is gorgeous. It's um, one of my top picks in the set here. It's so sink and pretty, very shifty. And that goes for all of them. I do want to make a blanket statement that the unicorn pea pigments and the sibling pigments are very difficult to photograph in that they are so fine particle and dense um, that it kind of tricks out your camera a little bit. So I really want to stress that the uh, shifts with the actual pigments themselves are very intense in person. So again, I topped off with the liquid crystal top coat using that wrinkle method um, and I'm good to go. And next we have Hydro. This is a topper with a double dose of turquoise blue uh, unicorn sister pigment with magnetic silver pigment and a sprinkle of hollow micro flakes. So uh, just revisiting that uh, when I'm going to dub the wrinkle method now, I don't know um, what is doing that, but I've been using this top coat on magnetics for about a year now and it's just something I, I discovered and it has consistently done it. So uh, just to reiterate, blow on it. And again, you'll see that it kind of wrinkles up a little bit, but then it snaps back to its glossy state when you're finished blowing on it. And then it seals it in. It's really odd, but it works. And um, again, I don't know if it's a hack, but it's definitely behaved like that for me. And next we have air. This is a topper with a double dose of blue to indigo sister pigment with magnetic silver pigment and a sprinkle of hollow micro flakes. Another one of my favorites. This one's really pretty. Of course it's blue. Um, there's lots of a luminous blue effect with this one. You'll easily see it shift between blue and in indigo. And uh, this new silver magnetic pigment is so gorgeous. It gives this really galaxy-like effect and I think they're just gorgeous when you pair them with these rare pigments. So really pretty and um, I think the silver pigment in this one looks fantastic against that blue to turquoise base. And last but not least, we have Aether. This is a topper with a double dose of uh, original pigment Unicorn P and all of the uh, Unicorn P sister pigment colors in micro flaky form with a magnetic silver pigment and a sprinkle of hollow micro flakes. So um, these micro flakes are some of my favorites. I hardly ever see them. Uh, I mostly have seen them in the past for quite some time ago from Baroness X. And um, I know she has just a bit of this stuff left. They're so pretty, they're so colorful, and they're small to medium, but they're very obvious on the nail. And again, paired up with that silver magnetic pigment, they are lovely. So I topped off with the liquid crystal top coat. I did that blowing method. Uh, I don't know what else to call it, and uh, I am good to go. Toppers you can definitely use with any base color. I chose black for this post just so I can make sure that you guys see um, at least some of the shift that I'm seeing in person as these shimmers are very intense, but again, they are discontinued. Now for her Black Friday sale info, again, um, she's gonna have that free with polish purchase of the Christmas uh, trio. And then you can grab the five elements collection as a set for 75, which is a $13 savings. Of course, you can always grab them individually too. Those will also be marked down during her Black Friday sale. Fluid art polishes will be also marked down. You can choose three for 28 or two for 20. There will be overpours of Rainbow Connection UK um, fluid art polish exclusives. There's gonna be top coat and base coat sets. You can get a set of three minis to try them out for eight bucks. So if you're curious about liquid crystal for the magnetics, uh, that's definitely something I would take advantage of. There will be a sale on her acetone antidotes, which uh, if you guys are um, familiar with them from my polish pickup videos, 
Those are awesome and those will be marked down too and there's 20 cents to choose from. All polishes in her shop will be marked down 25%, no code needed, and there will be a free gift with purchase on all orders over $50, including shipping. If you uh, purchase over $100, there will be a $5 off coupon, which is BXBF5, and in her Demiflex and Foxfire brand, which is the jewelry and trinkets and her bath and body stuff. Those are also going to be marked down uh, for soaps and all that other good stuff too. Multiple orders will be combined. And if you order something that is a pre-order with a non-pre-order, just shoot the customer service email message and they will get that taken care of for you. So lots and lots of info there. Uh, these will launch for the Black Friday sale November 25th at 6 p.m. Pacific time. And the sale will run until December 5th. I will break all of this down below in the description box. And I'll also link her shop if you want to get in there and check that out and uh, see her Demiflex stuff, the Foxfire stuff, and the Baroness X stuff. Lots and lots of goodies. I highly recommend uh, taking advantage of the sale. Um, so much to choose from. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.